When my clinical theater demands a high strength zirconia, I often reach for Zircat LT. But I don't stop there. I want to tone in a multi-effect in the Zircad restoration, and I also want to bring down the value of those cuss tips. That is when I'll reach for the Zircad LT coloring liquids. So now my goal here is to create a multi-effect. That's number one, and bring down the values of the cuss tips. There is a kit that comes with the basic color of A1, A2, and 3. Those are the basic colors. And then we have the effects shades. These are the shades that we use to add characteristics with, such as blue, violet, and gray. And then we also have brown and orange. With the kit, we have what we call coloring indicators. These are dyes. Now, why do we use dyes? We're gonna put the dyes into the coloring liquid so we can visualize the coloring liquid as we place it on our zirconia. The natural color of the liquids don't really have a lot of intense colors to them, therefore we use dyes. These are called coloring indicating liquids. The coloring indicated liquids come in three colors, yellow, red, and blue. We can use a combination of those, therefore we have no limitations, right? Those are the color spectrum for us. To get started, my base color is going to be A2. Most of the time I'm going to use A2. What I'll do with A2 is put 25 drops in a jar, and these are the mixing jars in the kit. And then I'll put two to three drops of the yellow dye. With this system, I know that the yellow color is always in my cervical and body one half. The way we create a multi-effect is how many applications we place per zone. Like for instance, on the cervical area, I'll place two to three applications of that base color. Then in the body, I'll streak into the body to create a multi-gradation effect. The base colors used for the cervical zone is also used internally to tone down that cervical area and on the occlusal surface in the depths of the fissures. That will give that nice dentinal glow once that centers. The way I'm using the effect shades would be on the cusp one half. My favorite shade is blue. For blue, we're gonna put 25 drops of the blue coloring liquid in a jar, and then we'll place two to three drops of the blue dye. The blue color is my main color to bring down the value of the cusp tips. We'll apply one to two applications on the cusp tips and marginal ridges and bring it down that triangular ridge to create a lower value and get the illusions of translucency. The way I manage the gray coloring liquid is I'm going to place a drop of red and a drop of blue. That's purple. Gray is applied between the blue applications just to create more of a translucency effect. With violet, I use very sparingly to tone down the cusp. 25 drops of violet in the jar with two drops of red. Yes, that will look violet. The violet is the last application I use when I'm using the combo of the three incisal effects on the cusp. I'll use it carefully along the line angles to create that illusion of translucency. I use a brown coloring liquid on almost all the applications when I'm coloring in zirconia, and that's the high strength here. What's the purpose of the brown? Number one is to give that nice saturation effect at the margin, also at the depth of the fissures of your restorations, and for a bridge, we're gonna use it interproximally to create the illusion of separation between the ponic and the abutments. The universal dye coloring for brown is going to be one drop of yellow, one drop of blue. That will create green. When we're applying these colors, the dyes that are applied are there to help us visualize the application effects. And these colors can be worked through in a very rapid way. We're going to start internally and with the cervical area. Then we'll refine the cuss zone and the marginal ridge zone. And then we'll do the effect brown color to create more accent on the cervical margins and also at the depths of the fissures. This process with the Zergcad coloring system is so simplistic. Now the way it works for me is I do use it on colored blocks. 
Why do I do that? So these base colors and these effect colors are more accents just to tone in the multi-effect and bring down the value of the cuss tips. I have found it very effective for me even using this system on other Zirconia brands. So here's my basic block color selection for the Zircat LT. If I want a final shade of B1 and brighter, I'm gonna use the A1 block and then tone in my multi effects. The number of applications applied will impact the saturation hue and also the value of the cuss tips. When I wanna shade between A1 and A3 for the final restoration, I'm going to choose an A2 block. And then we'll use the coloring liquids to tone in the saturation and multi effect and also the value of the cuss tips. When I want a restoration darker than A3 and it's in either the A zone or the C zone, I'm gonna use an A3 block. And then I'll tone in the coloring aspects for the multi saturation effect and bringing down the cuss tips. This system is not hard to use. I've trained it to quite a number of doctors and dental assistants, and they all hit home runs. You're gonna to have to spend some time getting used to how to apply these coloring liquids. It's almost like water coloring. The more applications that we place on a given area on a restoration, the chroma will become more intense, which means it's more saturated. Once the coloring liquid applications are completed for the whole restoration, we want to dry that restoration before we center. I just use a toasting oven at a temperature of 200. So if it's one restoration, that's 10 minutes in that toaster oven, and that's 200 Fahrenheit. Even though many of our furnaces today will dry our applications, I find it more expedient when I dry it in a toaster oven. Now, I like the S1 furnace that doesn't have a drying cycle. The S1 furnace by Ivyclair will have longer cycles. My favorite are seven to nine hours. When I'm using seven to nine hours, I'm getting much more translucency. When I use a speed fire application, that restoration is gonna be more opaque. The reason I use Zircat LT is for strength and thinness. It's usually on second molars or it bridges into posterior zones of the mouth. My goal is to tone those restorations down so they don't create visual tension. And that's the purpose of all the restorations I do in the mouth. I don't want visual tension. Fortunately, the shadows help me with Zircat LT. But to really make Zircat LT work in my hands, I have to use the Zircat LT coloring liquids. There are a number of videos on this site that will provide application techniques for single units and bridges. Enjoy coloring in your Zirconia LT. Though we have quite a few zirconias to choose from today with multi-effects and more translucent zirconia, when I want something really strong, when I need a thin margin, a thin restoration, or a long expansion bridge, Zircad LT is my choice for zirconia, and to make that work for me, blend the best I can, avoid visual tension, is to use these coloring liquids. So I hope you enjoy the process. I know you will, I actually kinda like it. It's really easy to do. I'll see you, that's right, mm, in the next video. Bye now.